Hey guys, it's Clary. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do the makeup look of Honor from Frozen 2. So let's get started. First, I'm using the Tarte Base Deep Hydrating Primer. I really love this. It hydrates my face and helps prepare my skin before I apply the foundation. Here's the foundation. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Me Foundation, and the shade is L20 Light Ivory. I think this Lip Princess Dusky is flawless but not so glowy, so I prefer matte foundation than using the dewy foundation. But make sure the foundation you are using have enough coverage for it, and I just apply it all over my face with a foundation brush. I'm using the brown brow pencil here. Anna's eyebrow is quite straight and with soft angle at the end of her brow, so make sure you don't overdo it. To the eyeshadow, I'm using the ColourPop Yes Please palette. First, I'm taking the champs and put it all over my lid as a transition color. Then, I'm using the Big Cocktail to shade my crease. Next, I'm going into the shade GNO and I'm using this color on my outer corner and blending it into the crease. And this is just spoiled. I just popping this on the center of my eyeball. Now I'm taking the shade Nui and I'm adding this color directly on top of spoiled. I'm using the shade Shelfer, which is a golden orange shade to do my inner corner. Going back to the big cocktail, I'm just wrapping everything in the crease and make sure there's no harsh night and it's seamless. Next, I'm using the smaller brush and taking the French kiss to darken my outer corners. Mix it spoiled and French kiss together and blend it until you are satisfied. Lastly, I'm going into the shade Butter Cake to highlight my inner corner. And for the lower lash line, I just repeat what I did on my upper lid. This is the liquid eyeliner from Jante Blur. I start creating a ring line from my bottom waterline. Why not you not have a long ring, but if your eye shape is downturned like me, you can do it a bit longer. Then I'm connecting the tip to my lash line, fill in the space and draw the line starting at your inner corner until two lines are connected. For the concealer, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer In the shade is Fair 02 I put it underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose and my chin To contour my nose and my face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tip Contour Concealer In the shade here is Deep And I just start blending it with the foundation brush that I used before I'm setting my face with the Matte Studio Fix Powder, the shade is N20. I know the packing is rare because I get it in my Ipsy bag and I don't want to waste it. To finish my brow, I'm using the Benefit Give Me Brow Gel and the shade here is Natural Night Brown. I'm using the Illuminate Beach Colors Planet to contour my face, my chin, and my nose again.
about the blush, I'm using the Seraphine palette tickles and the shade here is Lychee plus Gold, which is a rose gold warm tone color. I'm mixing it with Color Brown Marshmallow Blusher. The shade here is Apple Mellow. Just focusing on the cheek and makes it look more peachy. And I will use the tip of the puff and put some color on my nose. Next, I'm taking the champagne highlighter from Urban Decay and I just put it on my cheekbones, underneath my brow and my nose. Now I am using the same brown brow pencil to draw the freckles on my face Then I will use the liquid eyeliner to darken the outside of the dots and make it look more real For mascara, I am using the MAC Boss Lashes Extreme Black Mascara For the lips, I'm using half kicked liquid lipstick and the shade is low key. I just align the shade and fill in the color on the rest of my lips. Don't forget to use the setting spray. Here I'm using the ColourPop All Star Magnify Sing Setting Spray. This is my second bottle already. It makes my makeup last longer and prevents from cracking. For the hair look, I just take the side section and do the feet strand braid on both sides, then tie them up with an elastic band, then flipping it twice. It's the final look of Frozen 2 Honor Makeup. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And more videos are coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye!